In this section of the orientation, we're going to show you how to sign up for a tutoring opportunity using the Accelerate Northfield website. You should have received a welcome email from either Amy Decker or Michael Garlitz kind of explaining how to do this, but we thought it would also be a good idea to show you how to do it. So step one is to open your web browser, it doesn't matter which one, and go to the website that we gave you in that email. It's acceleratenorthfield.org slash matching slash login dot php and hit enter and you will be brought to this screen um, if and here you need to enter your login information again you should have received this in the welcome email you got from either Michael or Amy once you've entered that you can hit login if for some reason you're having trouble logging in your information doesn't let you in you can always email us by clicking on that link here and tell us what the problem is or if you've forgotten your password, click there and it will walk you through a process to reset your password. So once you've entered in your information, hit the login button. I don't want to save my password. And you will be brought to a list of tutoring opportunities. Um, if you look in this upper left hand corner, you'll see three tabs here. Obviously, if you click the log out tab, that will log you out. Um, if you click on profile, it's going to show you your account information, um, so your email, and here's where you can change your password if you would like to. But we want to stay on the Opportunities tab. This is where there's a list of all of the tutoring opportunities. And as you can see, there are a couple of very basic instructions at the top here, but we're going to show you how they actually work. Um, we will start by showing you how you can search for a tutoring opportunity. And there are obviously quite a few tutoring opportunities on this list. It's quite a massive list, as you can see. Um, so you can, and if you wanted to look through every single one to find a tutoring opportunity, that would take a very long time. So you can sort them. And how do you do that? You click on the column titles. So if I know that I want to work with a specific teacher, I click on teacher and it's sorted alphabetically, it's automatically sorted A to Z, but if you do um, want to sort it in reverse from Z to A, you just click on this little arrow icon on the side here and it will reverse the order. And if you click again, it will take away the sorting. Um, so, and you can sort by grade, by school, um, even by the start time or the end time. And um, just so you know, the start time and end time should be in military time. So 1 p.m. equals 1300. Some teachers forget to do that, so you might just see regular 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. Um, so since once you have it sorted the way you want, you can scroll through and look, and you can see there's a start date, an end date for what the teacher is looking for, the time, the start time, the end time, the school, the grade you'll be working with, what type of tutoring. Um, this refers to if you're doing response to intervention tutoring, which is a little bit more specific, or if you're just doing general assistance, um, or if you're doing enrichment tutoring. Um, there are a few of each of those types, but assistance tutoring is by far the most common type of tutoring that teachers request. Um, and on the far right here, you'll see a little description of what the tutoring opportunity involves. So um, I am going to sign up for a test opportunity that I created. And so now that I found this one that I want to sign up for, I select it by clicking on the little box off to the right. And the box should be blue and have a little check mark in it, just like that once you have selected it. And you can select more than one tutoring opportunity at a time. So if I wanted to sign up for two at once, I could do that. But since I only want to sign up for the one, I'm just going to select the one. Once you've found the tutoring opportunity that you want, you scroll all the way to the bottom and hit this Save Changes button. And you will be brought to a confirmation screen that looks like this. And it will have all of the information on here. So Please double check, make sure that this is the tutoring opportunity that you want to sign up for and hit confirm. 
If this isn't right, hit cancel and you will not sign up for it. You'll be brought back to the opportunity screen. So I want to sign up for that, so I hit confirm. And as you can see, you're brought back to this main opportunity screen with one major change. The tutoring opportunity that I just signed up for is now at the very top of the list and it has a blue check mark. It, that box is checked to indicate that I am currently signed up for it. So um, you can still sort things by alphabetically, but this is the tutoring opportunity that you are signed up for. If for some reason the tutoring opportunity doesn't appear at the top of your list, um, something went wrong in the system and your sign up was not registered. So please, in that case, email us to let us know. Um, and the last thing that will happen is once you have signed up, both you and the teacher you signed up with will receive an automated email um, and it'll connect you via each other's email addresses um, so that you have that way to contact each other. It is your responsibility, the tutor's responsibility, to contact the teacher to arrange a start date. And that is how you sign up for a tutoring opportunity.